Uh, I am the author of the Programming Microsoft Visual Basic series. And which is a set of uh, books uh, we started with. Um, I started work, working with Microsoft in 1998, uh, Microsoft Press, and I wrote the VB6 manual, uh, which later became the, the manual, the, the language manual, in a sense. We, we have sold from uh, all over the world from 200,000 to 250,000. Uh, 250,000 copies of that book. It has become the, mo the single most, uh, the single, the single you know, uh, most sold out book uh, in, uh, for VB6. And uh, it's interesting that it, is a, it has been a long seller. You know, uh, computer books uh, usually they, they sell half of the copies in the first month or two. And then they become obsolete. My publisher in Italy, they reprinting this book last year. So after 10 years, they made the 10th the tenth year anniversary. And uh, they still sell. And the, and the reason is, of course, there are still VB6 developer, which uh, willing or, uh, or not, uh, they have to write or maintain VB6 code. And of course, uh, it's time to, to switch to .NET, because uh, you know Microsoft uh, um, uh, suspect, uh, interrupted the, the official support for VB6 uh, in March 2008. Uh, so VB6 is not officially supported. And they already said that it might not be supported the runtime. Uh, the ID, the environment, uh, is, isn't already supported in, in uh, Vista and, and w, uh, Windows 7. The runtime might become obsolete uh, in a in the next version, uh, version of Windows. And therefore, it's time to move uh, to another environment. And of course, the most obvious environment is .NET uh, and uh, typically Visual Basic .NET. <coughs> so I start, in, in 2002, I wrote the, the uh, Visual Basic uh, .NET manual. 2002, and then I had another edition in 2003, and then 2005. And I was supposed to continue the series because it was quite successful. But at uh, some point uh, in uh, 2005, I decided that, OK, I have all this knowledge. I would like to write, uh, not just books, write code. And I want to put all this knowledge to good use. And. Uh, and uh, looking around, there were so many companies. I started with, with Intel, of course. Many of our customers, uh, they were, they were uh, having problems. Uh, and my off, uh, honestly, I was, uh, when I, in retrospect, uh, I was a bit naive. I said, no, you have to rewrite. Because that's the only way you can take advantage of the new platform. Now I, I see I was pretty naive. Because uh, they said, OK, how can? we rewrite millions of lines of code. How can we possibly do that? We have a customer in Italy who is now migrating a, a monster application that, con that counts uh, 15 million lines of code, VB6. It's uh, uh, 1,500 uh, distinct projects that together make uh, this huge application. And they are migrating that using our tool. But without such a tool, uh, just the idea, they, they laughed at me. Oh, I was, uh, they, they, we had these, uh, <laughs> these meetings. I said, no, you have to rewrite, absolutely, because uh, otherwise the, and they laughed at me. I was very you know, offended at first, because uh, they were laughing at me. So I, I, honestly, in my life, uh, I consulted for that, but I never wrote, my company never wrote an application with more than uh, several hundred thousand lines. We are talking about millions of lines of code. Rewriting that application, in most cases, with very few exceptions, is not an option. Unless you have an infinite sum of money, an infinite sum, uh, excuse me, number of developers, very skilled developers. And uh, time to market is not the problem with you. You can take your time. OK, in that case, uh, probably rewriting that from scratch is good, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an option, is a reasonable option. But uh, when application 
grows that uh, grows that bigger. It's a little impossible because no, many of the developers that wrote the application in the first place are not in the company, for example, or they didn't document it, uh, document the, the the code correctly, and so forth. You know, there are these kind of problems. I also I also serve as a, a Microsoft regional director in Italy. In Italy and in most countries all over the world, there are just one or two regional directors in each country, except Israel. I, I just learned that Israel has a few more. You are special in this respect. But uh, 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 the regional director group is a very restricted group. We are just 150 regional directors all over the world. And the two regional directors uh, in Italy, it's me and my partner, and we together we uh, founded this um, company, which is called Ar uh, Code Architects. So anyway, I was saying in uh, 2005 we started working on this project. We had a, we had a, we started with our you know the usual the usual story. You have a prototype. You see that uh, the prototype is behaving good, uh, is behaving better and better, and uh, it works better than uh, the the migration. Uh, Wizard that comes with Visual Studio and so forth. So we were very encouraged by the by the reaction, and we started this uh, project more seriously, and we also opened uh, this vbmigration.com website. And this web website is interesting because uh, it's not just a website for our product and for our services, but it's also um, it's also a website that, in our intention, uh, should be and uh, wants to be helpful to every VB6 or VB. Dot, dot. Yes, thank you. Uh, Eugenio reminds me that the, the 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 website is already in English. I mean, everything in English, all the document, all our documentation, everything. The user interface, of course, is in English. No Italian there. And um, so, on this website, we have poured poured there. Uh, all the knowledge we have built uh, over the years in this project, and you will find uh, a lot more, a lot more information uh, than you can usually find elsewhere. I mean, uh, for example, you know, major and subtle differences between the two languages. A any any time we learn something, and we, we, in a sense, we still continue to learn. You know, sub, very subtle differences that can create a problem when you migrate. Whenever we learn something like that, uh, we write an article on our website. So it's a reference place for any developer. Okay, as I said, Code Architects was founded in 2002 by the two regional directors in Italy, including me. We are Visual Studio Industry Partner. We have been recognized by Microsoft. I mean, this tool, this uh, software, has been recognized as a major player in the uh, migration uh, area. As a matter of fact, we are the only Microsoft ISV Next partner. ISV Next is a program that gathers uh, very few companies, I, I think 50 or 60 at the utmost. Um, and uh, it's a program that gathers these, the companies uh, all over the world that are uh, specialized in conversion and modernization of uh, Application. So, so in this group, we can find you can find pro, um, companies that migrate from Oracle to SQL Server, for example, or from from Java to C Sharp. We are the only partner in this program uh, who, speci who specialized in VB6 to .NET migration.